Mackey Motors in Lake City is the place to find new and certified used vehicles. With a knowledgeable sales staff and amazing service departments, you'll drive away satisfied. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City, MackeyMotors.com. Jeff Langman joined here today by the IKEA Manning 4x800 relay team. They just won over here at Dennis and Slushwick. We'll start with the lead guy, Lane Zams, who got him off to a really good start. Lane, as always, on the start, there was a couple of guys right with you, but by about 100 meters, you had kind of separated yourself just a little bit. It looked like a really strong start for you. Yeah, I like I like going first because it gives me more, more competition. I got everyone there instead of maybe just one or two. It just helps me get out to a better start and just push the guys to... So if I have a good start, then most of the time we all run pretty well. Where, where do you compare this run to, to maybe what you've had in the past? I know it's your first outdoor meet this year, so hard to compare to anything this year. Definitely a good start of the year with a 210 indoor too. So having these two as a good start for the outdoor, it's a lot better than most years have been. You said the wind over there around the 200 mark got a little tough. How'd you adjust and, and kind of adjust how you wanted to run based off of the wind today? Just kind of put my head down and push through it. I knew it was only two laps, so. Just got to give them my all. You had that competition early, but by the time you got to the 200 meter mark, you were about 10 meters ahead of everybody, about 15 to 20 by the time you finished that first lap. How did you keep yourself kind of grinding the way you did? Uh, I like being first because then I can just push myself that first lap with everyone else, and then it's kind of it's kind of all you got. It's hard to strategize an 800 when it's just two like, quick laps. So how, what did you think of seeing the other guys? How'd they run for you today? Ran pretty well. A few of them did. <laughs> it's all right. It's first out for me. Let's go ahead and get Abe in here. We'll slide Abe Bulls in here. Lane, great job here today. Great job of getting Thank him you. started. Let's slide Abe in here. Abe, you got the baton. You had about a 15, 20 meter, meter lead. I told you by the time you finished, you extended that thing by about 30 meters. You got out really strong here today. How would you feel that first lap? I felt good. I tried to get out hard the first lap, but then hold on for the second. How did you hold on? Because I will say that when you came to the, you know, to start that second lap, you could tell that you had pushed it really hard on that first one. Um, it was hard to keep up second lap. I still ran a decent second lap, but it wasn't as fast as it needed to be. So how do you adjust that, or do you adjust it? Is it just getting stronger? I just need to get probably mentally stronger and push that second lap a little bit harder. Tough running kind of out by yourself. Is that part of what happened, do you think, here? Yeah, it's hard to pace yourself when there's nobody near you. How did you do that? How did you fight through that and, and be able to run by yourself? I just try to keep the same pace as usual and try my best. What were you hoping for a time here today for your, your part of it? I was hoping for around a 210. I think I got around maybe like 214. Good. So not quite, but pretty close. What's it like to get a run outside for the first time this it's, season? It's good. Yeah, yeah. Was yeah. It, uh, talk, take, uh, talk me through the wind here. Uh, there's parts of this course where it's not blowing at all, and then other areas it's kind of strong. Yeah, towards the back stretch, it's really windy. But once you get around to the, the home stretch towards the finish, there's it's at your back, so it pushes you to the end. I heard Lane kind of talking to you guys about how to adjust, how you 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 know you close the race. How did you adjust your, your close to the race today? I made sure to close really fast because the wind was pushing me. Well, I tell you what, great job out here. Best of luck the rest of the way. Thanks. Let's slide Ben Ramsey in here now. And Ben going to join us. He ran the third leg here today. And Ben, strong run for you today. How would you feel out here? Um, I felt like I had a good first lap. I think about 101, 102. But that second lap, that, that wind just really hit you right in the face on the back stretch. And that, that really sucks. But uh, overall, it was a decent run. It was okay. How do you try to adjust to it when you, this is really your first meet outside, so you really haven't, I'm sure you've ran outside a little bit this year, but different running it in a meet. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, just like last year, ho hoping to have experience, just knowing what it feels like, but it's always a big adjustment coming outside from indoors. It's a lot different, but uh, just trying to do your best. What did you take away from last year that you think will help you this season? Um, just really that second lap. Uh, first lap, you feel good, you feel strong, and then you get to that second lap it's really just mental and you just got to push uh, it's hard but you just got to do your best now lane gives you a little bit of a hard time i think you guys like to rib each other a little bit talk, talk about that relationship that you've built with those guys even though he's a couple of grades ahead of you yeah well he dates my sister so he's over at the house a lot but uh yeah just running with these guys is a lot of fun and uh it's a lot of fun just being friends with each other and just having a good time and then when it comes to competing just competing for each other and with each other so this know. seems like a good track to run on over here how do you like this track yeah i like this track a lot uh it just feels like you get a little bounce back up when you come off the track and uh it's a nice track i like it a lot well i tell you what great job out here today appreciate you joining us yep thank Let's you get isaac blankman to slide in here as he ran the anchor here today and isaac you, you had a pretty strong lead so how, did that change how you wanted to run your leg of the race today well 
I wanted to come out and run a first uh, fast first lap, and I think I did that. So I don't think my strategy changed much while I was racing with that big of a lead. So under weather, I understood yesterday. Yep. So did that impact you in the run at all today? Um, I could definitely feel it in my lungs. I just came off being sick, so it hurt a little bit, but I pushed through. Take me through that first lap. What was the pace like? Even though you didn't really have anybody pushing, you had about a hundred meter lead. Well, I was uh, about like. 50 meters behind the uh, Harlan guy. I tried to catch up with him and then keep with him on the beginning of the second lap and pass him eventually. Take me through the pass. You got him before you got to the 100 meters of yeah. that second lap. So uh, you got him on a curve. What was kind of the mindset there? Well, he was kind of slowing the pace down. So I decided just to pass him and keep my pace so I could run faster. Talk about the mental part of fighting through the wind on that back stretch for that second lap. Uh, yeah, the back stretch was really hard because you're you wasted all your energy, you're about on the brink of death, and you just gotta keep going. So it's a really, a really hard race, mental part of it, so. Yeah. I heard Lane, who had run the first leg, kind of give you some advice on when to start your, your close to this race. Uh, how did you adjust, and then how did you feel like you closed the race? Well, usually I like to kick with about 200, 225 left. Instead, this time I had to kick with maybe 150, 125 left, so. Do you feel like you had a lot still at the end? Um, I felt I felt like I had a really good kick, and I probably could have gone a little bit faster during the race, but it is what it is. Well, I tell you what, great job. I know you got some other races coming up, so get some rest, yep. get those lungs healed up, and best of luck. All right, thank you.